Hey guys, Vegas Penguin, and today we're going to be talking about a few things. But first off, the gameplay in the background is on the new Standoff remake. Um, and uh, this is in theater mode, so if the shots look a little weird, how they're connecting and stuff, it's because it's in theater. So, yeah, let me yeah, see theater. Um, so just don't be bothered by that too much. Um, I'm sniping at first, but I switched to a, a VMP later on and just go off. That was nice. And uh, so yeah, enjoy it in the background. And I have a few things to talk about today. Um, first off, the new like PlayStation just got unveiled. Um, the PlayStation Slim, which is going for 300 which is obviously like it sounds like. It's just a slimmer PlayStation. And then the newer PlayStation with 4K, all that sexy stuff. That's going to be 400 bucks on November 10th. So, I mean, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty good, you know? Um, you know, I mean, it, they push all this 4K stuff, but in reality... Like, no one has a 4K monitor because they're all expensive. So, you know, it's really not that big of a deal yet. But in time, I guess it will be. But yeah, what I want to talk about first is Infinite Warfare, my thoughts, my reactions, and everything in that sense. So, when I saw the reveal trailer, I was like, what the heck is this? This didn't look anything like Call of Duty. It really just doesn't look anything that resembles Call of Duty. And it just... It was all too fast paced and really ugly and didn't make any sense to me when I was watching it. And, um, you know, I watched part of the reveal. Um, and then I started. What, what the majority of my thoughts are coming from was the gameplay I've actually seen from YouTubers. But first off, I just want to do the pressing fact that supply drop. Supply drops are most likely back because weapon variants are back. Yes, you know the thing that we all complain about in AW? Well, Infinity War decided, hey, let's bring it back, you know. Um, so there's weapon variants, there's common, I think, legendary, or common, elite, and legendary, I, I think, don't quote me on that, but I know common is one of them, obviously. And like AW, each weapon is better in some sort of stat than the other one. Which creates a lot of unbalanced things, you know. Just to uh, look back at AW, the Battle of City and Steed was superior to most of our everything. Um, the Battle Inferno was superior to most submachine guns, even though it was an assault rifle. And so, I guess we're gonna have to go through another year of just BS weapon variants and supply drops because when there's weapon variants, there's gonna be supply drops. And I know they said, like, oh, you can earn this in-game. Well, like, you can earn crypto keys in-game, but it doesn't really help you all that much, you know? So, I don't know. Not looking forward to this at all. It seems like it's going to be just like AW. Maybe worse. I don't know. But gameplay-wise, it does look, for the most part, like ghosts. Um, I don't know how that guy melted me. Um... But, you know, there wasn't a ton of wall running and a ton of, like, in the air. Your thruster seems to run out very quick, and it didn't seem... What I read off of all the perks didn't seem to be afterburner or something in that sense. So, that that's good. No afterburner. So, that means wall runs and all that stuff won't really be that big of a factor. Hopefully, I'm really hoping that's the case because I would say wall running causes were the most of the fluky stuff that does occur in this game so that's very good sorry my cat keeps jumping up on me but um yeah for the most part it looks like ghosts um if they keep the three lane layout it actually may be good S and D may be very good um search and destroy is actually in this game yeah because if you guys remember back in ghosts search and destroy was not in the first part of the game which is just such a fail I, I don't know how you don't have a classic game mode in the game. But yeah, gameplay looked nice for the most part. One thing I don't get is why you have to have a, a variant in order to get a nuke. Um, makes no sense to me why you need to have a legendary variant to get a nuke. You know, to me it's just like, if you, if you want the nuke in the game, just put the nuke in the game. Have it be a 25 gun streak. But like, to put it on a gun, that most people, you know, might not get, like AW, that's just BS, honestly. That is honestly so stupid in so many ways. Like, you're not, it's not even rewarding the player because one, the gun is already better than other guns, 
And two, if the gun's better than our other guns, is it really going to make you feel, like, proud that you got a nuke? You know? And it's just, like, it really just, it amazes me, you know? Um, why do they do that? Just put it, it's not, it shouldn't be that hard. Just put it in the game. What, like, they're just overcomplicating things that shouldn't need to be overcomplicated. But, um, yeah, I think that's the most part. Oh, and High Caliber is in Infinite Warfare also, which I don't get. You know, they're trying to make it like BO3. Everyone thinks that BO3 was a really great game, but it has a lot of flaws. And I don't get why you put a High Cal in the game. It really makes no sense to me. And uh, also touching on the fact that the nuke... So apparently T. Martin says there's going to be a subclass, you know, there's assault rifles, submachine guns, LMGs. There's going to be another subclass called classic weapons, but there won't be variants for classic weapons. So does that mean we can't get a nuke with a classic weapon since there's no variant for a classic weapon? Like, it just, it doesn't, at this point it makes no sense. And I guess I can't really say anything until October 14th when the beta drops. But I really can't take in everything from the beta. Because I loved Black Ops 3's beta, but I hate Black Ops 3 right now. To me, they changed too much. The hit detection changed, and all these things changed, and I didn't like it. And, um, yeah. So moving on from Infinite Warfare, let's talk about COD 4 Remastered. Now, I didn't play COD 4 when it was in its prime, um, like a lot, of the, a lot of the old community has. But one thing I do want, a couple things I do want to touch on. For the most part, the game looks great and all this stuff, but... To me, they added AW sounds, which makes no sense why you would change the sounds of a classic game. It's classic for a reason. You don't have to change the sounds of the game that made it classic, you know? And I didn't know you didn't kill a Talon by using Heatwave. But, um, honestly, they added AW sounds, you know, like AW movements, AW gun sounds. And then in the kill feed, the head, they changed the headshot meter to the AW headshot. And it's just like, why? Why do you have to change that? What is so necessary that you have to change the headshot that, like, you know, it's just leave it in the game. And then another thing, the most obnoxious thing I saw with the COD 4 Remastered was the medals. Like, BO3, you get a medal for just about everything you do. You get a kill, you'll get a medal. You get a double kill, you get a medal. You don't need medals, okay? I could care less about medals. And the only medals I care about are, are bloodthirsty when I go into 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The only thing I care about, maybe like um, like a kill chain and up, you know, like 6 or six and up. Yeah, those are cool. But like basic double kills, puncture, all these unnecessary things, survivor, headshot, long shot. You don't need, you don't need it, okay? And COD 4 didn't have it, so why put it in, honestly? That was like my major takeaway, the medals out of everything. For the most part, it does look good. The graphics, of course, look better. And it's, um, hopefully it plays out well. You know, if all these new players, it's probably not going to be the game you remember it to be. But it's going to be it's gonna be nice alternating cards. You know, if IW grinds your gears, like Peter Griffin would say, go to COD 4, you know, stuff like that. It's going to be nice, but... Hopefully, you know, hopefully this isn't a terrible year of COD. I really hope not. I, I, I have some hope because I am an Infinity Ward fan. But it's it's some hope. It's not a it's not a big hope. But, yeah. I won't really know until uh, October, till I play it. We really won't know until... Oh, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Really won't know until November when the game actually comes out. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Vegas Penguin. And I'm out.